This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Just uh, real quick, uh, I hope Dee Cantner's okay. You know, I hate to see she's one of our great officials. Uh, went down with an injury. Also, everybody prepare themselves. I'm opening with a compliment of the officials uh, for the first time in my coaching career, maybe. But I, I thought they did a great job as a two-man crew. It was a hard, hard game to officiate. We both attacked the basket. We both cut a lot. Uh, and it just, um, I, I thought, you know, on a night when she got hurt, I hope she's okay. And I hope everybody makes it home safely. The weather turned on us when we got, after we got this thing started. So just hope for a safe return home for everybody. And Tulsa played great. We knew they would. No surprise whatsoever. Um, I know the team they've put together. That's why we scheduled this game. When we scheduled this game so that we would be extremely tested. And obviously we were, but. Uh, really proud of our group of kids for, um, you know, weathering some runs, uh, weathering some moments when um, we faced some adversity, and we really made a lot of growth tonight. I guess, well, I guess we'll start with kind of the how Enon did tonight. She scored 27 points, about as efficient as you could humanly possibly get. Yeah. Um, I felt like through film that there was a, a matchup advantage there you know, with Aaron's experience uh, and her elusiveness and, and her ability to attack the basket. Um, we wanted to make sure that we went at that. Um, and she did a great job responding. I thought she was very patient tonight. Um, you know, this is a kid that, um, you know, now in our program for her fifth year, she gets it. She knows when her number's called and she knows when she can dominate and she did. And just really proud of her and for her. And also for our team for rec recognizing that. I'll tell you, I've been a part of some teams in the past that wouldn't have had the maturity to, to come over there during timeouts and go, whatever we got to do to get it to E, you know, and pulling for her. So I'm proud for her, of her, uh, and for her teammates as well as for recognizing that. I'm just wondering, did she take kind of a leadership role in the huddle when y'all were weathering some of those storms? That's not Aaron's style. Aaron's more laid back and listen and kind of let everybody else pump her up. Um, but, you know, I, I, when I went at her, I got some eye contact and a nod. Uh, and there was one time during, the, during a live ball where she kind of looked over at me and said, I can, I can get in there. So we called an action to get her posted up, put a couple of little, drew up a couple of plays for her tonight. So, uh, yes, leading, but not real vocal. That's just not Aaron's style. That's, you know, kind of that's what uh, Sam and Mac do for us as the, our lead guards. But uh, Aaron certainly has leadership abilities because people follow her. And then game got, you know, you mentioned how y'all cut a lot and game got kind of chippy at the end yeah. and all that sort of good stuff. Is that just something that comes with the territory? It is. In a game like that that gets physical, there was, you know, uh, again, when you only have two officials, now there's a lot more you can get away with. And these kids are not dumb. <laughs> They've played a lot of basketball. They know that they they can get away with some things. And it, it did get that way. But I think it's the sign of two teams that, um, that really – I have a lot of competitive spirit, and uh, I, I can tell you from this point on, I hope Tulsa wins every game they play, um, and I think they're going to win the majority of them for sure. And then finally, last one for me, how does this game kind of set you up again, a tough grind them out, you know, talk about after the exhibition yeah. that you didn't want games to be one-sided. Yeah, but. we've played three games, counting in four with the exhibition and five with the scrimmage, and they've all been different. Every one of them have been a different preparation, a different style of play. Um, so I, I think we've got a lot of usable film. I think we've got a better understanding of some roles and who we are um, and right where we wanted to be. We wanted to have been challenged before we had – we got a one-day prep now because we got, we'll have to take tomorrow off. There's NCAA rules about off days, so we'll take tomorrow off and then we'll have a one-day prep for a really good Kent team coming in here on Thursday. And then you flip back around, you got a really great team and Coach Foley after he got the court named after him down in, in Little Rock on Monday. So we'll we'll regroup tomorrow. We'll fix some things. We got some things to fix, some communication things, some just new things that we've got to work on. We'll do that to as coaches tomorrow and then get back to work as a team on Tuesday. All right. Thanks, Coach. You got Congrats. it. So Tulsa came in out rebounding people by about 18 rebounds, yeah. but out rebound out rebounded them tonight by 12 and had a lot of contributions from guards. Just how important was that? I mean, 10 from Sailor, nine yeah. from Michaela. Massive, you know. Um, 
we've not been a good rebounding team any of the six years, five years I've been here. Uh, I know that. We've also not very turned it over very much in the past. And now we're doing both. We're not turning it over and we're rebounding. And, yes, Tulsa is going to dominate lots of nights because they're so athletic. They're hard to box. You can't box them out. Those old days of, you know, those box out drills we all did when I was my age, those are obsolete against athletes and tough, tough kids like they have. So uh, it's just a, a, a gut willingness and a race to the ball a lot of times, and I'm glad that we're winning them. Our guards are doing an unbelievable job. Uh, you know, you look down there and Max got 19, 9, and 3. Um, that's just an incredible – then you go up and then you see, you know, Sailor. Sailor goes one for four, which she's not going to do very often, but she's plus 13. She's the highest plus minus, again, for the third straight game for us. That shows how much she's contributing to the effectiveness of our team, even though she's not scoring like I think we're going to see her continue to do. She's going to bust out, just like Chrissy is. Chrissy's a great shooter. Uh, I want her to con con continue to have confidence in that. Um, and I, I think that's where some of our areas can grow. But sure, it's nice to be able to win the battle of the boards. Yeah. So y'all took your fewest shot attempts in the fourth quarter, but had your you shot 53.8% yeah. highest of the game. Just how important was shot selection, you know, to protect that lead? Good, big, you know, part of it. And we ran the clock a little bit more. You know, that's something new for me too, clock management. I'm having to really – really learned some things. I, I talked to Coach Pittman the other day about clock management a little bit, uh, just so that uh, it's, a, it's a new thing for us. But we played a lot of minutes now. We only played eight kids. Uh, we said it in here in the pregame talk, chalk talk with our fans. This was a matchup night. And I talked to Jersey and Mary and both and, and Emery who have been playing. This might be those matchups tonight because of the style of play of this team that, that the starters play a little bit more minutes. So not indicative of, of how we're going to play, I think, in the future, but the way that this game played out, um, I think it was important. And then I know we've already touched on it, but Aaron to have her career high the other day and then turn around and set a new one with 27, just a player that's been out with injury in other years. Just how, how does it feel to see a player like her get these moments, you know, as the senior? You're just happy for her. You really are. She's, you know, last year she was really playing well when she got hurt. Um, probably came back, you know, she came, she was healthy to come back, but it's just hard when you've missed that amount of time during the SEC season. Um, and she was motivated this summer. I mean, this is a kid that came in and worked in our office as a GA, I'm sorry, as a, a work study all summer long. And we just got a, a chance to see a different side of this kid. This is a kid, if you know her story, uh, you know how amazing it is. And the fact that she's playing like she's playing, she's got the ultimate you know, confidence of her teammates uh, and, and how she's going about doing it. Um, she is going to hear it from me. There's some things we're still going to improve on, and she wants to hear it. But that's what makes her the type of kid that she is. And But I am really happy that she's got a chance to uh, – Kylie, make sure we send those in uh, this week for uh, Player of the Week. There's been some good performances. It's going to be hard to beat LSU's kids out because they've been putting up massive stats. But I want to make sure we get Aaron nominated for that. She's been She's been really, really good. And then uh, I guess just forcing um, turnovers and scoring off of those. I know early in the first little stands of the game had nine points off turnovers just to yeah. start out. How big was that right from the get-go? Well, they're not a turn it over team. They, they don't turn it over very often. So for us to get our hands, you know, that offense is really tricky. You know, it's, it's named Princeton for a reason. Uh, Pete Carrill put it in up at Princeton back in the day with his, you know, 35 ACT guys. Because uh, it's uh, very, very difficult to to run. Um, so you know, for us to uh, weather that uh, and and force seventeen turnovers, we we turned them into. If, even if we didn't turn them into points, it got us into transition, which forced the pace and and got to their legs a little bit. And I think that was you know a three point difference in the fourth quarter, which we needed every single one of them. I have a question from Porter. Yeah. Yeah, even with all the extra length and size you have this year, what does it say about your guards going in there and not being afraid to get rebounds? <laughs> uh, when you see the ones that are doing it, you, you know exactly. Those guys are tenacious. Those two, we, we, in practice, we have littles and bigs, and the littles take it personally sometimes when I say littles. Uh, so they'll be flexing their muscles a little bit. I, I think it speaks to their competitive spirit you know, uh, and, and that they know that rebounding is going to maybe be the difference for us this year uh, in a lot of games. So, uh, Porter, that's a great question, and I do. I think it just goes to how, how those kids are and everything they do. 
I mean, you don't have to spend much time around those two to know how confident they are uh, and how competitive they are. Do you have a question? They're good. They're, good. They're real good. A friend of mine, Todd, does a great job. We've been on a bunch of NCA, uh, NCAA committees together. Um, again, you know, as a coach, when, when you start talking to people and they start wanting to play you, you know there's a reason. Like, he wants to play this game because he knows – that they've got a team that can come in here and beat us. They're veterans. They play a style that's going to give us fits. Uh, and he knows it's going to help us both get better. But people don't call you if they don't think they can win. So he's a friend of mine. I got a lot of respect for him as well. Uh, and it'll be it'll be equally as a tough game for, for 40 minutes plus uh, on Thursday. I do have a question thinking about, after yeah. about that. Uh, so Angie, I mean, she was a former GA here. Just Yeah. What's it like to see, you know, people who've been in this program before going off and getting these head coaching jobs and doing a good job? I'm glad you asked that question because I, I, she she was here with Tom and and I knew her because I was back around the area at the time. Uh, but she did a lot of great things here. But bringing us Jeff Brazil, she hired – she got Jeff out of a class to come in and be our video coordinator, and he's been here ever since. And he has gone from video coordinator to, to special assistant to the head coach to a friend, uh, a guy that everybody in our locker room – uh, knows protects him. Uh, he's he's our guy. And if Angie hadn't have found him and Jake, her husband, if they hadn't have found, um, you know, Jeff during that time and brought him to us, we'd be we'd be without him. So um, I thank her for that. But I'm, I'm proud of the job she's doing. You know, I coached at Tulsa too, so I've got a little Tulsa pride uh, deep inside me as well. Uh, and and I think she's done a great job getting that program uh, back into an NCA turn an, an NIT tournament. And with that roster right there, with what she's continuing to add, there's there's NCAA tournaments in their near future. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB. MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.